Good morning, it is time to feed the chickens. So let's go check on that feed we started soaking yesterday. It looks like all the water had been pretty much absorbed by the grains that were in there. Come on out, chickies. Come on. You know, I thought for a split second, oh my gosh, we got five eggs this morning. But those are the fake ones. It does look like they managed to still get it in their box, though. It's tilted over, and there's some fresh dino squat in there as well. Good morning, little buddy. Good morning. Coming out in your pajamas this morning, are you? Yep. You coming in to see the sheep? Yep. All right, come on in. I'm gonna hug them back. Daddy, daddy, he's sweet. That's it? That's all you wanna do? You can pet them more. He's happy. Noodle's happy. I feel we've gotten to a really good point with the chickens right now. All the big projects with them are taken care of right now. And we've gotten into a really good rhythm with them. Things have fallen into place real nicely. We don't have any plans to move them anytime soon. Since we got the pullets and had to put up that <coughs> fine... Since we got the pullets and had to put up the fine wire mesh on there, it would be real difficult to move the electric fencing with the mesh on there at this point. So we're gonna leave them in place for a while until the pullets, until the pullets pull a little more size on them. We don't have to worry about them slipping out the fence. With the chickens taken care of, my focus really needs to shift back to these guys. Their paddock in here is pretty picked over. We haven't had rain in a couple weeks now, so the grass is starting to dry out. It's browning a little. Uh, we're getting a little dusty over here. And their hay consumption has increased a lot. I was feeding them about a flake to a flake and a half a day and they were getting the rest off the ground. Now they're up to like three flakes of hay a day. What, buddy? It's not like I have these thick, lush pastures to set them out to after they leave this paddock. It's more about getting them off of this spot, letting this area rest, than it is about letting them eat out there. Moving them out there just means I'm gonna have to haul the hay out further. I think I have a good plan for moving the sheep. Here's a map of the layout of essentially our front yard. The house is down here, here's a drain field. This is where the massive stands of tansy were in front of the house that are no longer there. The sheep corral over here, the gardens, where the chickens are now. And this is the area where the sheep are in right now with the three strands of poly wire. Up here where the red line is, the road. This area over here has a lot of trees and thick foliage over here. And these are just some trees scattered throughout the property. The orange is where I intend to put the perimeter of the poly wire strands on reels. So it's going to go all the way around this front pasture area. The purple is going to be the interior fencing. This will also be the poly wire strands, making essentially 
two L figures here. The dots represent the portable electric sheet fencing, the netting, and you can see how I'm using them as cross fencing to subdivide the pasture here. I only have two, not ten, that are depicted on here, but I really only need two at any given time. So let me explain. So the sheep, if they start out here in the corral where their water and shelter is, and come up here through this laneway, and come out here to pasture, there's going to be a set of handles and poly wire connected to each one of these posts right here. So what I'll do is I'll unhook the poly wires from this point and then swing them up and essentially hook them over to this point over here. This closes off all this pasture up here. They're not going to be able to come up this laneway and access any other pastures. So I'll have portable electric fencing here. For the first paddock, I only need one netting. So I'll have it here. This portion of the fence will be open because I'll have that strand going across here blocking this off. So the sheep will go into here. The portable electric fencing will be blocking them off on this way. The poly wire will be on this side. And they'll have this pasture area here. If they need to get back to water or shelter, they can walk back around down the laneway. When I need to move the sheep to the next paddock, I'll have the second sheep netting fence up this way. I will, t I will open a little bit of the fencing. They will go through here into the next pasture. So we'll open up this corner. We'll open up this corner here. They'll go to this next paddock here. And then I will take this, hook that back down to here so the laneway will be open again. And then the wire that goes from here to here, I'll just simply unhook it here and then walk it over to there. So now this area will be open. The sheep can come and go as needed through here. And this process can just keep repeating all the way up and then I can repeat it also for the other side. In order to do this, of course, it's gonna require another trip to the farm store because I don't have enough of those gate handles. Before we head out though, let's talk about this thing. You guys remember a little over a week ago, uh, this reel got crushed under the collapsing tower of hay. <laughs> and when it's on its little rack system, it, it doesn't work because this lip right here catches on it. So it won't turn like it's supposed to. I received a few tips from viewers, you guys out there, about how I might fix this thing. Somebody suggested using a heat gun to reshape it I don't have a heat gun, but someone else said, hey, try a hair dryer. I personally don't use a hair dryer, but my wife does. So we have one. Let's give it a try. I think that's gonna work just fine. Thanks again to you guys who wrote in regarding the recommendations of fixing that. And it was Virginia Thomas, our hay farmer again, who made the hair dryer suggestion. So thank you, Virginia. Earlier in the week, I promised little buddy that we would have movie night tonight where all of us in the family would sit down and watch a movie together. So we're gonna go do that now. Oh, little buddy, looks like you're ready for the family movie. What are we watching tonight? And we're watching this. Zootopia, awesome. You excited to watch the movie? Yes. You've been waiting all week, haven't you? Yes. All week and all day. All right, we got our quilts all out and ready. Let's go on.